your fields are alive with a whole bunch of different insects and um, the plants themselves can tolerate a bit of feeding from all different insects. But there's a level where you get too many of a certain kind of insect and it's gonna start causing too much damage and economic loss. So the goal is to get out and sample and assess the populations and stop the insect damage from causing any economic loss. Well, you should sample your strawberries because you need to know what's going on in your fields. What you find in your field could be different than the grower that's two counties away. The equipment you need to monitor the insects include a white pan, yellow sticky card, a stake for the sticky card, a yardstick or a piece of wood that's cut to a two foot length, access to different images of insects. Um, there's a lot of good field guides out there. And finally, a hand lens and a notebook to keep track of the date, the number of insects you find on each sample date, the weather, temperature, every little thing that you can think of. For the major insect pests, um, the orange plant bug, um, you can use the yellow sticky card to monitor for the adult insects. And what you would do is place the yellow sticky cards on some sort of stake and place that in the ground and have it about three to six inches above the plant canopy. You'd put it in the strawberry patch right after you'd uncover the strawberries. And the goal is just to catch the adult plant bugs coming into your field. To monitor for tarnished plant bug nymphs, you use the white pan method. And that um, entails using a white pan like this one I took from a cooler or even a cool whip container. And you randomly walk through your field and stop at a flower cluster and you tap that flower cluster onto the white pan and then count however many tarnished plant bug nymphs are in that pan. Then you get the average per field. You can use the white pan method to monitor for thrips as well. Uh, they're generally more of a problem in the day neutral varieties, but they can be a problem in the June bearing also. You also need a hand lens. This is a 10x hand lens and this helps to see the tiny characteristics on some of the insects, like spider mites, the two-spotted spider mite, which is a pest of strawberries. And to look for two-spotted spider mites, you look at the underside of the leaves, and then you have your handy-dandy lens that would help you see the two black spots on its back. When you're looking for the strawberry bud weevil, you actually look for the damage, so you look for the clip buds. What you do is you get um, a yardstick or a piece of wood that's cut to length of two feet and you randomly stop within your field, put down the stick and assess the area and look for the clip buds and you count the number of clip buds in that two foot area. Spotted wing Drosophila is a relatively new pest and there's still a lot that's unknown about how it overwinters in the cold states and the cold climates. But what we do know is that once you have it in your field, it can be a big problem. You monitor for it using a special trap that includes uh, like a 32 ounce cup that you put vinegar in and also hang a tiny sticky card in it to catch the adults. Once you have the trap set up, um, you want it to be in your field, but kind of in the shade. So if you can get it down in the plant canopy, that'd be best.